Hello mga classmates! It's me, Maikin. Ang mag-subscribe ay makakatanggap ng message galing kay Crush. Uy! <laughs> At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay magkakaroon ng buo-buong libag sa kilikili. Ew! <laughs> Ready ka na? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo! Before we start, intindihin muna natin yung ibig sabihin ng word na divisible. Pag nag-divide ka, tapos yung ending niya ay 0 or walang remainder, ibig sabihin, divisible yan. Pero pag nag-divide ka, tapos may remainder tulad nito, ibig sabihin, not divisible na. So, tandaan, divisible pag nag-divide ka, tapos walang remainder. At, not divisible naman pag dinivide mo, tapos merong remainder. So, handa ka na ba na isang tingin lang tapos alam mo na kung may remainder o wala? Tara, proceed tayo. Divisibility by 4 A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So, let us look at these examples. ba ang sabi ang titingnan lang natin yung last two digits? So, sa 9,312, ang last two digits niyan ay 1 at 2 or 12. Divide natin yung 12 by 4. Diba ang answer? 3. Walang remainder. So, pag walang remainder, automatic, divisible din yung 9,312 by 4. Next naman, we have 68,756. Ang last two digits ito ay 5 at 6 or 56. So, divide din natin siya. 56 divided by 4 will give us 14. Wala na namang remainder, diba? Meaning, yung 68,756 ay divisible din by 4. Para naman yung 907,682. Ang last two digits ito ay 8 and 2. So, let's divide. 82 divided by 4 will give us 20 remainder 2. Pero teka, meron siyang remainder this time. So, pag may remainder Ibig sabihin niyan, yung 907,682 ay hindi divisible by 4. At ito yung cool na part. ba meron tayong remainder na 2? Ibig sabihin niyan, pag yung 907,682 ay dinivide mo sa 4, meron din siyang remainder na 2. Try naman natin yung divisibility by 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8. Again, let's look at these examples. So, kung kanina sa divisibility by 4, ang tinitingnan natin ay last 2 digits lang. This time, ang tisilipin natin ay yung last 3 digits. So, dito sa ating first example na 6,064, ang last 3 digits natin ay 0, 6, at 4, or 64. So, this time, divide natin siya, hindi na ng 4 ha, kundi by 8. 64 divided by 8 will give us 8. Again, walang remainder. So, di ba, pag walang remainder, ibig sabihin, divisible din yung 6,064 by 8. Next naman, we have 59,344. Again, last 3 digits. So, 3, 4, 4, or 344. Divide natin to by 8. Ang sagot, 43. Wala ulit remainder. So, divisible din yung 59,344 by 8. Para naman yung 412,126. Ang last digits nito ay 1, 2, at 6. So, divide natin siya by 8. Ang sagot, 15, remainder 6. Oops! Meron na namang remainder. So, tulad nung kanina, ibig sabihin, hindi rin ito divisible by 8. At, Similar din sa ginawa natin kanina, itong remainder 6, ibig lang sabihin yan, pag yung 412,126 ay dinivide mo sa 8, then meron siyang remainder na 6. So remember, a number is divisible by 4 if the last 2 digits are divisible by 4. And, a number is divisible by 8 if the last 
three digits are divisible by eight. Try it! Put a check if the number on the left is divisible by the numbers on top. Put a cross if not. Pwede mong i-pause yung video para mag-solve. Then, play mo na lang ulit pag may sagot ka na. Ready? Okay, sagotan natin. So, the first one, we have 7,417. To check kung divisible by 4, titignan natin yung last two digits which is 17. 17 is not divisible by 4. So, X to. Then, for 8 naman, ang titignan natin ay yung last three digits. 417 is also not divisible by 8. So, X din to. Nakuha mo ba? Next round. We have 39,000. Ready? So, ang last two digits ng 39,000 ay 0, 0, or 0. So, ito ay divisible by 4. Ang last three digits naman ay 0, 0, 0, or 0 lang. So, divisible din ito by 8. Next, we have 285,036. Again, pwede kang mag-pause ng video ha. Ready? So, ang last two digits nito ay 36. Ito ay divisible by 4. Ang last three digits naman ay 36 din. Pero, hindi na siya divisible by 8. Last for this round, we have 3,024,840. Ready? Ang last two digits natin ay 40. So, yaan ay divisible by 4. Ang last three digits naman ay 840. Yaan ay divisible din by 8. Nakuha mo ba? Ayos! Next naman. This time, you have to identify the remainder. Again, pwede mag-pause ha? So, first question, we have 509 divided by 4. Ready ka na? Okay. So, 509 divided by 4, ang last two digits, di ba? 9. 9 divided by 4 will give us 2, remainder 1. So, ang sagot natin dito, 1. Next naman, we have 1,647 divided by 4. Ready? Okay, so since dinitified natin siya by 4, ang titingnan lang natin ay yung last 2 digits. We have 47. Pag dinivide yan by 4, ang sagot ay 11, remainder 3. So, ang sagot natin, 3. Next, we have 22,222 divided by 4. Ready ka na? Okay, so again, tingnan natin yung last 2 digits, 22. So, 22 divided by 4 will give us 5, remainder 2. So, ang sagot natin, 2. Ito pa. Level up tayo, ha? We have 523,046 divided by 8. Okay. So, since 8 na yung ginagamit natin to divide, ang i-check na natin ay last 3 digits. So, we have 46. 46 divided by 8 will give us 5 remainder 6. So, ang sagot natin, 6. Next naman, we have 7,952,165 divided by 8. Ready ka na? Go! Okay, so last 3 digits ang tingnan natin. We have 165. Pag dinivide yan sa 8, 
we will get 20. So, 20 remainder, 5. Nakuha mo ba lahat? Kung oo, edi, matindi ka talaga. Sobrang dali, di ba? Marami pa tayong videos about divisibility rules. So, make sure to check them out. Till next time! Bye!